On a quiet and seemingly normal morning, the sound of an alarm clock wakes up a teenage boy. He makes his way downstairs to the kitchen and, to his surprise, finds a completely empty bowl of bananas, the faucet left running, and absolutely no one around. Mom, where's all the bananas and stuff? I'm late for school. But there is no answer. Mom! Then, he notices his mother's clothes lying on the ground in a peculiar formation. Mom! He decides to write her a note and leaves for school. He walks through the completely empty streets and sees an abandoned dog collar laying in the middle of the sidewalk. He keeps walking until finally... Jeez, okay. There's some people. Thought I was going nuts there for a second. But as soon as he walks away... He arrives at school, where he sees his girlfriend. Why didn't you call me back? I'm not allowed to use the phone after ten. That is so lame. What do you want from me? I'm not allowed to, so I'm not going. I need you to call me because... Because what? Sometime later, a dark figure enters a secluded cave in the middle of the night. It's Wolverine. He sees bags of fast food and drinks scattered around a small unlit campfire. Get out of here! I said get out of here! I mean it! You're gonna die if you don't get out of here! Not today. Y you look familiar. Yeah, no, uh, I'm a world-famous mutant. You're... oh shit, you're one of the X-Men! Name's Logan. Wolverine. Logan explains to him that he can't be hurt by the boy's powers because of his healing factor, and that he's here because Charles Xavier found him with Cerebro, a machine that can find any mutant. I'm a mutant? Yep. It... it was me then? Yeah. I, I killed people. All those people died because I'm a mutant? How many people did I kill? You really don't want to know. No. Yes, please. They say 265, maybe more. Sorry, kid. How? How can that? I... Logan explains to the boy that he has a mutation that radiates toxins and acid-like poisons, killing all organic matter around him. Oh no, oh no, I can't live with this, I can't! This can't be my life! Just shit luck, kid. I can't... I can't live with this. I know. The boy immediately understands what that means. I should have done more stuff, huh? Logan tells the boy that no one is ever going to know it was him who caused all this. They're going to say it was some kind of chemical leak. The boy, mad at himself and the world, tells Logan that everyone should know it was him. If it ever got out, a mutant did this by accident. On purpose, don't matter. That'd be it for mutants. They'd round us up, all of us. So see, there's a bigger picture kind of thing going on. So like, like one chromosome or whatever to the left, and I would have maybe been one of the X-Men. Maybe. The next morning, Logan emerges from the cave, alone. 